Okay, today we're looking at the number plane. Now, what these sort of number planes and Cartesian planes that we're looking at, um, you're going to actually see a lot more in years to come. In year seven, you just get a taste of it. So what we're doing is really not that complicated. However, in years to come, when we start getting into linear equations and all of those sort of things, you'll be seeing these planes and number planes a lot more. So let's have a read here. During the 17th century, two well-known mathematicians, I'll let you have a go at those names, ind independently developed the idea of a number plane. The precise position of points are illustrated using coordinates, and these points can be plotted using the axes as measuring guides. This invention revolutionised the study of mathematics and provided a vital link between geometry and algebra. The number plane or coordinate plane it is also known as the Cartesian plane, is used, sorry, it uses two axes at right angles that extend in both the positive and negative directions. So as you can see here, we start right here, which is actually the O there stands for origin, and it goes up into one, two, three, moving up. If we move to the west though, we've got negative one, negative two, negative three, if we move south, obviously we've got negative 1, 2, and 3. And if we move east, we've obviously got 1, 2, 3. So, key ideas. The number plane uses two axes. You've got the x-axis and the y-axis. All right? Yeah, y-axis is this one here. Yeah, x-axis is that one there. Each axis uses a scale that includes both positive and negative numbers. Okay? So on your x-axis you've got positives and also your negatives. On your y you've got positives and also negatives. A point plotted on the plane has an x and a y coordinate which is written as x and then y. The x coordinate is written before the y coordinate as in the alphabet. So x becomes, oh sorry, x comes before y. The point zero, 00 is called the origin or simply O. Let's have a look at a few questions, shall we? Alright, here it says, for the Cartesian plane given, write down the coordinates of the points labelled A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Okay, so basically we've been given a heap of points. Alright, now remember what do we have to say first? We have to say the X coordinate first and then the Y coordinate. So let's do a couple of them. All right, the X coordinate for A is two. All right, comma, Y, it is one. So we know that A's position on this Cartesian plane is two, comma, one. All right, let's have a look at G. G, we need to do our x coordinate first, is negative 3. And our y coordinate is negative 1. Okay, so going across first and then up and down second. Alright, pretty straightforward activity. In this one, which you will do in class, it says draw a set of axes using 1 centimeter spacings using negative 4 to negative, sorry, it's positive 4 on both axes. So you'll need to plot those um, on a graph a lot like this. For a number plane given, write down the coordinates of the points labelled A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Okay, very similar to this one. However, instead of points being out here, okay, we've got them on the line. So let's have a look at A. In this case, A on the x-axis is 3, alright, but on the y-axis it is 0, okay. So in this case you can have points and coordinates sitting on that 0, which means that they're actually sitting on the line itself, okay. This is basically all this chapter entails. Um, so hopefully that's given you a little bit of an introduction to the Cartesian plane. 
Um, like I said, we are really just touching on it this year and you'll see it more next year in the number plane.